Hi fitness friends, today we have a strength and hit cardio workout to do. This is a full body workout where I'll be using various dumbbell weights and my 16 inch plyo box. Um, and we have a hit cardio set that is just body weight. So it'll be 20 minutes of strength, 20 minutes of hit cardio. We have a five minute warm up and a five minute cool down. So let's get this workout started. All right guys, before I hit start on our five minute warm up, I want to mention that I am 27 weeks pregnant during this recording. So all that means is please choose your own weights, go at your own pace, and make this workout work for you, okay? So we're starting off with a set that's 30 seconds long, 30 seconds on, warm up set. You need no equipment at all, and we're gonna go through five moves two times, okay? So I lay my timer ready here, and we will go. You have a 10 second countdown, beginning with air squats, so that's just squats, body weight squats. Make your form nice, go at your pace, squeeze those glutes, start to get them activated, breathe. Sink it down, squeeze it up. Move your arms, get your body working. Our next move is a walkout push-up. So you walk out to plank, get a push-up, and walk back. And we'll do a nice forward fold with it too. So arms up high, touch your toes, walk all the way out to plank, get a push-up, and walk it back. Feel that hamstring stretch. Third move is a lateral lunge with a reach. So a nice wide stance. Go into a low lateral lunge as low as you can right now. Reach up. Get a nice twist in your spine. Come to center and the other side. You feel your inner thigh stretching. Make sure you're breathing. And our fourth move is butt kicks. So bring up your heart rate a little bit more. Pump your arms, get warmed up. And our final move before we repeat these is a slow burpee. So it's just like a low impact burpee. You're gonna step back into plank, step up, and then jump. Sort of low impact. So, touch your toes, get that stretch again. Step back to plank, push up, step forward, jump. Step it back, push up, step forward, jump. Nice job. And we're back to the top with more air spots. So let's squat it down and up. Maybe get a little lower in your squat this time, go a little faster, squeeze a little tighter at the top. Five seconds to walk out push-ups. So touch your toes, walk it out to plank, get a push up, walk it back. We got lateral lunges with our reach next. A nice wide stance. Get into a lower lateral lunge than last time. Still get a nice twist. Stretch. Hold it as long as you need to. And then we're moving on to 
butt kicks again. So bring it up. Pump those arms, go a little faster. And our final warm up move is the slow burpee. So bend your down, touch your toes, step back to plank, push up, step forward, jump. Touch your toes, step it back, push up, step forward, and jump. Nice job. And that is it for our warm up. So we're gonna move right onto our strength set. Our strength set, the first one was written by our dear fitness friend, Caitlin Moren. She has an Instagram page and she posts mini workouts there. They are awesome. I have the link on the breakdown. So make sure you hit show below, check out her Instagram page for great healthy recipes and really great little workouts. We're including one today. So this set is five moves, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. So although it is hit, we will be using dumbbells the whole time. So I'm starting off with two 15 pound weights for our first move, doing, using them again for the second move, and the third, and the fourth. So I'm sticking with 15 pound weights until we get to the fifth move and I will go with one 24 pound weight. Okay, so 50 on, 10 off. Set my timer for a 10 minute round and let's go. 10 second count on the started. And the first move is a lunge and twist. And then we're standing up at the top doing a needle to a stand and press. So like I said, 15 pounds is what I'm going with. Lunge back, twist down, stand. Now here, you're kneeling all the way back to your heel, standing, press. Go for another lunge and twist. All the way to a kneel. Those weights are at your shoulders when you're doing this kneel. So you can stand and press. All the way to your heel. Press through that heel, stand and press. We'll get the other leg in the second round. Nice job. Second move crisscross push ups, alternating T stand presses. Sticking with 15s. A crisscross push up is where you just hop your legs to cross over each other during it, right before the push-up. So hop to cross, push-up, hop it back, T-stand, press. I'm going to alternate sides. Stay straight in that T-stand. Cross, push up, and cross. T stand, press it. Nice work. Third move squat, bicep curl, stand, and twist to press. So I'm going to go to alternate sides for the twist and press. So squat down, bicep curl, twist, press, come on down, bicep curl, other side, twist and press. Keep those elbows in for that curl. I'm doing a hammer curl in the middle of a sumo squat here. Because that's what feels good to me with a big belly. Don't 
Swing those weights. Nice work. Fourth move. Curtsy lunge, elbow to knee. So keep your weights up on your shoulders. At the top of that curtsy lunge, you're bringing your elbow to your knee. Just like that. Staying on this side the whole 50 seconds. You can certainly hold one weight for this overhead and make it more of a shoulder move too. You have 10 seconds, keep it going. Five seconds, two, and one. Nice job. Last move is a spider knee plank to and around the world. So we're gonna go with one heavy weight. And I'm doing a staggered spider knee plank. So one hand's on my weight. Uh, I can get it. One hand's on my weight, two spider knees. So one, two, hop it up, hold the weight with both hands, all the way around, all the way back down, switching hands, one, two, switching sides, already with the lunge to 15 pounds weight lunge and twist you have to stand and press so lunge and twist down come back up bring those weights to your shoulders kneel down back to your heel stand press lunge and twist down up kneel stand and press Okay, 
curtsy, knee to elbow on the other leg this time. So load up those weights to your shoulders or hold one weight overhead. So curtsy back, knee to elbow, really drive that knee up. Bring that elbow down, crunch through your obliques. Which even if you're pregnant, are fine to work. The weak muscles are great. All throughout your pregnancy. Less than 10 seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Spider knee planks and around the world. So one heavy weight for me. Stagger hands for the spider knee planks. Hop it up. Around the world. And back. Weights going to the other hand. And down. strength is already done. So grab a quick drink while I tell you what we're doing next. We have a Tabata Pair Time Pyramid. What that means is we're working up from 20 second intervals to 50 and then back down. We'll get both moves at every interval but we're alternating all the way up the pyramid and back down. Okay, so our two moves are a clean and press to a overhead squat. The second move is a bear row to a decline row. So you're gonna hover your knees to do a bear crawl hold row. So I do one arm, the other arm, and you hop it up, row, row, hop it down. Got it? I'm just showing you that because I don't think we've done that before. Okay, so I'll be using my sandbag and two 15 pound weights again for the bare rows and decline plank rows. And I'm gonna start with the clean and press to overhead squat for a 20 second interval. So, clean and press, keep that weight up. Up there, overhead squat. Dumbbells, bare row, decline row for a 30 second interval. Starting with the bear. So row, knees are covered, row. Hop it up to your decline. Squeeze your butt so you're not rocking all over the place. Hop it down.
minutes work. Okay, first 50 second interval. Bear rows, decline rows. Down your weights. Hover those knees. Hop it up. So, step up. 
curl. Other leg. Keep your pace here. Don't swing those weights. Elbows in. Squeeze your bicep when you curl it up.
and move. Touch down, pulse, pop squat. So you're touching down with a wide leg squat, pulsing and popping up. So right here, one, two, pop up. One, two, squeeze that glute for the pulse. You don't actually have to put your hands down. Just make sure you're getting low enough that if you had to touch the floor, you could. Now and then just to check yourself. Make sure you're getting low. Two seconds. Okay, commando, plank hop. Commando down, plank jack. So plank position, hold 50 seconds. So at the top, plank hop. Commando down, jack. Up, up, hop. Other arm, down. Down, jack, up, up, up. Got it. Stay with it. Down, extra hop here. Skater touch down, extra hop. Stay in that curtsy for that hop. It's not a knee drive, it's a lunge hop. Nice work. Okay. 
Okay, handstand kick ups. So, not a true handstand. One leg, hold 50 seconds. Kicking up from pike. Shoulders over your arms, over your wrists. Just kick up, kick up. You're working that supporting leg. Okay, touchdowns with the 
pulses and the pop squat. Get those quads and booty burning. One, two, pop it up. Make sure that pulse is a glute squeeze, not just a bounce. Kick up other leg this time. So for me, that's my 
awkward handstand leg. <sighs> so, shoulders over your wrist, kick it up.
Then back to warrior two, reverse and chaturanga and repeat as many times as we can in five minutes. So I'm gonna hit start. I'm just gonna start for three deep breaths in child pose. Tabletop, flip your toes under and press into down dog. Paddle your knees just to get your calves and your hamstrings used to this position. Do your best to push your heels to the mat. Take a deep breath. Okay, start by raising your right leg up. Bring your leg through between your knees. Low lunge. Come up, warrior one, open to warrior two. And we're gonna go right into half moon. So press up off of your back leg, open up with your hips and shoulders. Stack your feet, stack your hips, stack your shoulders. Hold it for just a beat. Come back down to warrior two. Turn back to warrior one. Just keep your heel down, turn your body forwards, and press off that back foot again to go into warrior three. Back to warrior two. Reverse it. Hands to the mat. Back to low lunge. We're gonna do chaturanga on one leg. Come all the way to up dog, inhale. And down dog, exhale. The left head leg lifts high. Bring it through. Warrior one, warrior two. Half moon. Stack your shoulders and your hips. Flex that foot. Back to warrior two. Warrior one, warrior three, hands forward. Warrior two, reverse it. Hands to the mat on the exhale, and a single leg chaturanga. I believe it's called Ekapada Chaturanga. And down dog. Two deep breaths. Same flow sequence. Again, right leg. We're going to go a little faster this time. Not hold this balance moves quite as long. Warrior one. Two. Half moon. Just for an inhale. Exhale to warrior two. Reverse. Warrior one. I think I added that reverse in. Warrior three. Warrior two. Reverse. Hands to the map. Like a pot of chaturanga. Lower down. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Left side. Step it through. Warrior one. Warrior two. Half moon. Back to warrior two. Reverse since we did on the other side. Warrior one. Warrior three. Warrior two again. Reverse it. Hands to the mat. Like a chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. All right, we only have 30 seconds left. So I'm going to take a half pigeon pose on my right. 
And then again, on my left, even if it beats. So I'm gonna go into a sleeping pigeon, because this is where I feel the stretch the most. And that's the end of our five minutes. So I'm gonna walk my hands back up, come back into a three-legged dog, and down dog. Other leg up, bring your knee to your left elbow, right foot over, foot over to your right hand, and get down into that sleeping pigeon again. Walk your hands back up. <clears throat> Come into that three-legged dog again, just to get out of the pose. Down dog, drop to your knees. And we are finished. So guys, let me know what you think about this format. How do you like the 20 minutes of strength and 20 minutes of hip cardio, the warm up and the cool down. Let me know if you'd like to see this be made into like a mini series or a full series. And I will see you all at the next workout.